Good morning, Jerusalem. The sun rising over the Mount of Olives. And here we are this morning at the Notre Dame Center. And we're ready to go down for breakfast and head to Bethlehem. Seventy percent Muslim, thirty percent Christian. My problem with the wall is not that Israel built a wall. My problem with the wall is that they treat the Christians equally with the Muslims. The Christians are punished equally. That Israel does not make a distinction between the Palestinians. And then Jesus is born, and then pilgrims started coming and coming. They couldn't build a church there yet. Christianity wasn't legalized. And then we have writings from Justin Martyr who said about how Christians come to the place where Jesus was born. And John Chrysostom, the great doctor of the church, he wrote and said at 395 AD, he wrote and said, even at this late date, Christians are coming to see the place where Jesus was born. We arrived at our shop in Bethlehem where people are gonna buy olive wood and Jerusalem crosses and so on. Here's a man outside selling bagels. I'm just showing you the and explaining what they have for sale. Everyone, welcome to Bethlehem, the birthplace where Jesus was born. Brother Steve, Miss Janet, you've always been very helpful to the Christian community in Bethlehem. And Brother Anne, we are very honored and blessed to have you this morning as well. I know you are a good friend of Brother Steve, and he convinced you to come. Okay? After so, 20 years. So, because he convinced you to come, we would love to see you here. We have prepared a small gift for you to thank you for, for to thank you for coming. We have this icon, the Holy Family, sterling silver, put in your room that would protect you and protect your family. Please accept it and keep it. Father Steve, Look at Father Steve, right? We have this vestment for you. Okay, it's done by Catholic nun who live in Bethlehem. The vestment with the cross of Jerusalem, the typical cross of the Holy Land, comes one big cross with four small crosses around it, which means the four corners of the world. That would be small gift. For, that would be a small gift from our community to you and your people to thank you for being here. And when you pray, pray for the peace of the Holy Land. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. After shopping, we went to Shepherd's Field for Mass. This is where the angels appeared to the shepherds on the first Christmas Eve. We're arriving at Shepherd's Field. This is the cave where we're gonna have Mass. This is where the angels came down on the first Christmas Eve, and here's our group all coming in. We're gonna go in, I'll show you the cave before we get started. Here's the altar. This was an authentic cave. This is where the shepherds were keeping their sheep on that cold winter's night. Joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. O come, let us adore in Christ the There's a picture here in the church of the angel delivering the message to the shepherds and in the corners this cool picture of a dog barking at the angels. Then we go to a Christmas tree restaurant that's run by three Christian brothers and uh, they're orphaned and they're, this fence, this wall blocked their restaurant from the main street. So we're driving through Bethlehem to go to their restaurant and enjoy a great lunch. This is the making of a shawarma sandwich. That's turkey with lamb fat in it. And here's the salads that go on there. And these are the sandwiches, the falafels. There's even the sides. See, there's the vegetarian falafel, and there is the chicken shawarma. And they're making mine right now. And here is how they make the falafels. They boil them in this oil. And everybody got a drink as part of the dinner, lunch, and here they all are eating. Enjoying this really Bethlehem fast food, these nice sandwiches. Everybody gets a kick out of stars and bucks. Our next stop is the Church of Nativity, and here we are approaching the front of the church, and everybody has to go in this small little door, about four feet high, and there the goes The Church Al. of Nativity! And here's the little door we have to go in right here. That's the little door. A little door into the Church of Nativity. under reconstruction. These are photos of us going down the stairway to the grotto where Jesus was born. It's a level of steps down. This is our group coming down the stairs and the goal of the whole thing here is to touch this 14 pointed star which marks the birthplace of Christ. Oh my gosh. Thank you. 14 pointed star that marks the birthplace of Christ. This was the cave where Jesus was born. here in Bethlehem. Because it has the image of the burning bush on it. And you can buy them from the Bedouins, which we did, but everywhere we went, we were looking for these burning bush rocks. Cindy was the only one that found any, and she found quite a few of them.
We arrived back at our hotel in the old city of Jerusalem, the Notre Dame. These are our two buses in front. And then we took people to the Holy Shroud exhibit in the afternoon. This is great. It's the Shroud of Turin display, and it is a marvelous one, and Johanna takes a great tour of it. Even until today, in the Jewish tradition, people are just buried in a burial cloth. They don't have uh, a coffin like we do because there's no trees around here. <laughs> so they just use a burial cloth and normally directly into the phenomena somehow that looks like a name. Well, we have to think that the Shroud of Turin is pure linen, and a negative can only develop on something that reacts to the light. So now I will explain to you what a negative is, right? Because I don't think you've seen it. A bronze life-size statue of what it was like with Jesus in the tomb, a crown of thorns probably very much like the one he wore, and displays and nails and other images in history that keep you busy for hours. Then everyone had free time, dinner, confessions after dinner, and we all got to bed for a big day tomorrow.